iPhone 12 series often got issues with corroded pads between the board halves and today I want to show you how to solve that in an easy way. I'm sure if you are working on these boards you know these issues starting at the iPhone 12 series. My name is Dr. Ben, I'm coming from the company Rescue in Germany and I would be very happy if you would subscribe this channel. So we will directly start um, with that uh, with that thing here and I want to show you how to solve that easily. So if we separate these boards because we have um, a board related issue and it's necessary to separate them board halves, um, often we can see that the pads between the board halves are like, they look like a little bit black and if you go over with flux and with um, with solder with solder and desoldering wick what, whatever um, the problem is that you can't get away the dirt on the pads so looks like they are co a little bit corroded or um, they just got the issue that they don't take solder in the right way anymore at all. Often people say, oh, no problem, just uh, rebuild the board, get it back together. But what I saw um, on doing these jobs and um, soldering them back together and then open back again and have a look is that some pads just don't connect at all or only in a small way. And um, that's a thing which you will see again within a short time so the customer won't be happy with that and that's why I thought about a long time ago for how can I solve this and I um, gave comments in different groups um, to people how to solve that but some of them asked me Dr. Ben can't you do a video about and just show that one time and we will see if this board has this issue because normally most of them boards have this issue and then solve it. I just need to get a preheater, sorry. I just forgot that. Mijing MS1, in my opinion, actually the best preheater on the market, in my opinion. So perhaps other people think that other preheaters are much better, but in my opinion, this is actually the best one. Because of the heating element and stuff like that, this is really a good thing. So what we do now, is just separating them board halves and then have a look if pads are black or not. So we just take some hot air to help just to speed up the process. Go on, go on, go on. So we could just wait until the preheater does this job alone, but we want to speed up the process. Don't use too, the heat for a too long time on separating these boards. So we help with a little bit of hot air from the top, not too much heat, just a little bit for help. Okay, let's see if we already can lift up. Yeah, we can. 
so. Okay. This board was never opened before. You can see it here under thermal paste. And let's see under the microscope what about gray pads here. They, in, in this situation, they really look okay, but we will use some solar wick. And then we will really see if we got issue with gray pads. And then we will solve that. Anyway, we will solve it if we don't have much gray pads. I want to show you the way how to do that in a good way. Okay, the way to do that in a good way. Okay, Dr. Ben. Okay, Dr. Ben. So we just remove that. Okay, looks better, I think. And now we just need to use some solder paste. Just go up with the temperature for desoldering. I was on the, ra on the wrong temperature here. So now it goes much faster. But like you see, this isn't the best example because the pads really look okay. But I had so many cases, almost every case of this generation and I think a lot of technicians will confirm this that most of the boards of this generation or starting at this generation even the, the higher generations have these problems with them corroded pads and there is a way to solve that and I will show you how, even if this board looks good until now. So we just add some paste here. Let's go on here and go on here. Okay. Now the same with the bottom layer, with the bottom board. Bad situation here, or do I have a bo ah, I have a board holder here that makes it much easier, people. We can clean much faster and better then. So, like that. Go up with the microscope a little bit. Add some solder paste to the solder iron again. Yeah, a and this board really really looks good but anyway I can show it to you anyway that's not the problem so we take off the solder here
like this and after we took off the solder we just clean it with a wipe I just smash the thermal paste a little bit like this Pretty okay. So imagine you have gray pads now. What we can do then? Oh, let me have a look on my table. One second, okay? Just have two other boards here. Just for taking a look. Let me see here. Let me see here. Okay. Just add some flux here. This isn't as bad as it could be too. Okay, I show to you here on this board. Let me have a look for that. Ah, oh, perhaps here. Yeah. Here we have some. So here we have some. I hope you can see it. I just I just need to clean it one time. And then I show you how to clean these pads. So So in some situations, like you see, if you take enough, enough um, solder to your wick, you can get away the gray pads too. But often, and here we have some, some good things, where some good examples. So we were going with the wick over the pad. But still, they look like this, like this, like this, like this. And there are boards where this is much more and you can go over and over with the wick and the only thing you do then is just taking off the um, the surface of the logic board here okay so you really scrape it away and that's not the thing so you could take a plate and go over each pad okay so scrape, 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 next one, next one, next one, next one. And there are a lot of pads around here, like you see. And this takes a lot of time. But the solution for this is just taking this one here, a fiberglass pen. And with a fiberglass pen, you can just easily go over them pads, you see? So the oxidation goes away we have no more gray pads at all and it's fast to do so if we use some contact cleaner later you can see it looks perfect okay so if we just use this go over you see not too hard just going over and we take away the dirt, the oxidation, and everything from them pads. And after that, they get a good connection again on soldering them back together. So, and um, that's, that's really a, an amazing thing if you know that, and you know how, how, how to easily do that. Just with a fiberglass pan here, and you can get a fiberglass pan on Amazon and everywhere you want and then it's just fucking easy to remove these gray pads from your logic board get a clean surface so the operation to separate um, the logic board here <laughs> i 
didn't have to do this because the pads here were pretty cool but fortunately we had other boards where I could show you um, gray pads and how to remove them easily so um, this was all I wanted to show you within this video I hope that uh, you like it it's just a small video with a small hint but I hope it helps some of you to solve the cases in their companies faster. Okay? My name is Dr. Ben. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, to subscribe the channel, okay? I'm out and we we'll see us with the next one. Goodbye.